Hello everybody and welcome to my Let's Play of Europa Universalis 4 Veritas et Fortuna mod. Uh, in this Let's Play we're going to be playing as Muscovy uh, and trying to form the Russian Empire as usual. Uh, and if I'm skillful enough I'll try and uh, colonize America, whether it be the West Coast or the East Coast. Uh, so this is a uh, normal setting, uh, historical nations is turned off, there's no bonuses uh, for AI or player. Um, that's pretty much about it. This is the world, if you haven't seen it before. Basic, uh, what was it, 1310 AD? And we'll start off in Muscovy. Three province nation here with only one vassal, I believe, uh, which is Nzi Novgorod. So it's a lot more difficult than base game where you can start off with like four vassals and you're slightly larger. But it should provide uh, an interesting challenge and uh, it'll be lots of fun. So let's, uh, let's hop straight into this. And installizing game. Initializing, my bad. All right. So we start off with too few rivals. This is one of the newer things they did with the Wealth of Nations. They kind of redid the whole rival system. And I just totally clicked out of that. Let's set ourselves. From, actually, let's get some advisors first. So we're actually, we got a decent leader. 3-4-3, three, three, that's actually really good. Let's, um... See what we got. Disable all this because uh, I don't like the, um, the pop ups bugging me. Let's put Iconoclast. No, not right now. Form alliance with Vladimir Suzdal. Uh, where are they? They're right there. That could be beneficial. So we can take out Tver or uh, Ryzen because right now our army is not very large at all and we could definitely use their assistance in growing. Uh, save the Russian people in Vizma. Where's that at? Oh, that belongs to Smolensk. Not right now. I can't really attack that and improve our prestige. Not really something I can do. Um, policy. Any policies I can actually do. I will straight up pick um, the beginning here. I'll do the land warfare idea. Because that's going to give our troops a boost that we... Uh, we we're gonna really need if we're gonna want to win. Um, mission, and we'll go ahead and look to. Do they even like us? No, they are hostile. So that's that's not even gonna work. <laughs> User entered your channel. By enemies. User left your channel. Mm, and let me just. Channel switched. There we go. All right. Sorry about that. So let's see who we can make alliances with here. Who doesn't completely hate us? Never there we go. That's someone we can ally with. Uh, why can we not? Oh, duh. There we go. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> so we should have an alliance there. Do I have claims on anything as of right now? I have no claims. That's lovely. Um, could I declare war against Ryzan? No, because I don't have a... No, Casas Belly. So we're gonna... Which one of these has a higher base tax? So Tver has a higher base tax. Who do they belong to? Are they allied with anybody? Do not appear to be allied with anybody as of yet. Okay, this is gonna be fun. We're gonna fabricate a claim against um, Zubstov. And we're going to. Stability, production, efficient. I don't know anything really. I usually have like national tax modifier. Don't need to pick up a military guy just yet. How much are we making? We're not making very much. Okay, so I won't hire anybody else. 
Uh, how big of an army can we support? We can support two more units. Uh, Alright, so I'll take one more foot soldier and one cavalryman. And I'll sit on that for a second. I think I think we're ready to start now. I do have an injury now that as vassal. Ooh, we have good air. I don't need any guidance. Ah. Cool. So it appears they sent me an alliance at the beginning as well. So we're going to go ahead and improve relations with these guys when we can. Let me buff the speed up here. We're going to... get rid of the aristocracy or not. We're going to get rid of the aristocracy for right now. I've been warned by Novgorod. Lovely. I am losing money? That's always bad. <laughs> Where is this actually? Oh, okay. Actually, I might want to boot this guy out. So we're just going to kind of sit here, and there's not really much we can do until we get a claim on anything. And since Novgorod's being a punk, they're, uh, I'm actually going to kick this guy out, because I just need the money. So why am I negative? Oh, I'm fabricating claim. All right. Yeah. I'm going to improve relations with you. We now have the cost ability against Tver. Now, are they still at war with Sweden? They are. I wonder how that war's going. Armies. Uh, OP, OP. Um, Novgorod has 1800 men, geez. How many does Sweden have? 1,200 men. Or, not 1,200. Uh, th about 13,000 men. But Novgorod doesn't have any manpower left, and Sweden has some. I'm not sure if I want to push and go for... Oops, sorry. No, I'd go for some stuff since they warned me, but, you know, no guts, no glory. Allied with Yaroslav. Yaroslav's a one province. Belarusk. Oh no, that's Yaroslav right there. It's not a three province. And maybe Mr. May intervene. So they're gonna join us. Klonov, they're not gonna. No, it's too far away from them. Alright, well, we're gonna take the chance. I don't think Sweden will join, or not Sweden, uh, Novgorod will join because they're in the middle of, uh, well, I gotta remember not to do that. And we need a military leader. And you're decent. And we'll just sit on you. Wait for allies to come up and reinforce. Oops, 
hopefully we can win out here. There we go. Win this battle, that's good. We can chase them all the way back. There we go, thank you. I don't know why my frames keep dropping. This is really weird. So now it's just about sitting on the siege. Uh, actually, that's looks like a problem. But if we win the war score here, then this war won. It won't matter what happens over here. Excommunicated, very nice. So they've already sieged that, that's great. So we now got that, let's see if we can just get straight out. And we can. And let's take some of their money though. And no tree. No. Okay, it's pushing it. And we'll just take this and uh, not push it. Good. And we'll make this into our core. And we'll keep the unit station there for right now. I have too few rivals, forgot to do that again. So I'm going to set Tver. Probably should have done that before this war. Um, I don't want to send Smolensk, but they've already done to me, so let's do Smolensk and Ryzan. There we go, our rivals are set. And this is how it's going to be for the next uh, good while or so. It's just going to be small conquests here and there. No need to take too big of a bite and then get overextended. Improve relations, but I can do that. I'll pay it for now. In pre relations, let's do that. Yay, core province. So while we're doing this, we might as well start fabricating another claim. I don't know why it wasn't. Like I said, it's just a waiting game now. I have a free merchant. Okay, let's put him to use. Okay, um, I wonder if they ever fixed the trade map mode? Oh god. It's better, but it's still shit. So 
So we have one in Novgorod. There's no real reason to put one there. All the trade's being directed north already. I guess it's really the only place to put him here. Yeah, sorry about the frame. I don't know why they just need to fix that uh, part of the map for some reason. about 70% done on our uh, claim fabrication. Improvements in trade technology. Gain 50. Ah, poo. What is our aggressive expansion? 16, 16, not bad. As long as it doesn't get above 30, 40, we should be good. So now that we have our... I'm just gonna kind of bounce between it because they give you a little thing, state marriage again. I get prestige from that, so why not? All right. Let's pause this here. Diplomacy, declare war. Who are they allied with? They're allied with Tver and Olgic. Okay, so they're still small. They haven't recovered their army. I can also bring in Novgorod Seversky here. And I think I'll do that. Let's go straight in and attack this army. Actually, no. We're not going to attack across the river. Wait for him to attack and then go system. So we could make a claim on what's our new mission? Take Tula. Okay. Easy mission. Advisors thoughts, I understand that. Ooh, an idea. Expanded conscripts. How far am I from? Six, okay, yeah, we can go ahead and do that. Get more manpower. Let's improve relations with you, Chernigov. If not, quarrel with you.
see the tour is over. Actually, let's, uh, let's see what we can get out of the separate piece of tour. Actually, no, let's wait on that. Just for Tver, yep. Wow, I can make them my vassal. That would give me a lot of aggressive expansion, though. And especially with the people I don't want to have aggressive expansion with. Um, can't take anything from them because that's their capital, but I can get money from them. And that doesn't cost me any expansion. I could have them annul all their treaties. Or just the one with Ryzan. Send that. Good. And then I'll go here. And I'll take. This would cost me 13 aggressive expansion if I did that. Which would piss off a lot of people. Or if I just take what I was going for that, that hardly does any, which is it's when you're doing these and you don't have your bonuses, you gotta make sure you're uh you're not grabbing too much at once because it really multiplies like just that that's another eight. Yeah, it's an eight. Yeah, another eight. Uh aggressive expansion. And that's just and it multiplies. So even though it's just thirteen point five, it will you know it'll convert rise and vert which I don't care Vladimir Sadal Sadal's my neighbor by 30 but then it's 28 for Chernigov Kiev and Smolensk and those are bigger nations that I don't really want to piss off yet Novgorod would only be down by 20 but still there's no reason to have these negative penalties so you just take it you know claim by claim and let's get some money from them because you know money's good all right Send demand. Actually, no, there's any treaties I can get rid of. Yet, and all that with Kiev and Olgich. And send demand. Send that. Prestige. Cool. Cool. Alright, we're gonna go here. We're gonna make this our core. Now grab Sversky. Oh, gotcha. Mission selected. Um, see. Uh, no, that's not them. And Pronsk. That's the Golden Horde. We're not going to attack them for a little bit. We're horribly undermanned. I mean, look at this. Uh, protect against Smolensk. What would they have me do? Equal to seven. Uh, that would just be one. Okay, I can do that. And we can invest in technology. Let's go ahead and do that. Alright, let's continue the game. Recall. So we're just going to need to build one more infantry unit. Build another uh, infantryman. Luchniki? I don't know, I'm probably saying that wrong. And with this, we're gonna fabricate another claim back on Ryzen. Fabricate claim on. Now it's gonna rise in itself.
no decisions available. Display national statistics. Obviously joining the better part of Russia, so quit complaining. If it's possible, dispute succession with whom? No. I could build a road. Trading post, what's this do? Um, I guess a trading post wouldn't hurt. Yeah, those cost lots of money. But if you really do build up your infrastructure, it really does uh, pay off in the long run. No, because I'm not going to do that. I'm going to boost it for a little bit. I like to keep it at like 20% because it gives us mission uh, missionary strength increase uh, and lowers revolt risk. It does lower our tax modifier just a teeny bit, but that's compensated by the buffs that I normally have in. And Ferrara has been excommunicated. Yeah, that works for me. Tribute due to the con, yeah, pay him. We are not yet strong enough to defeat him. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, I think we got name. Let's uh let's fabricate another claim on the uh Elets Elts. And then we'll go in and take we'll take Ryzen. So we're making a whole duck in a month. It's great. Lovely. <sighs> hmm. I'd rather lose some money than lose province stability. Because that's what, um, in this mod, that's what keeps your stability up. It's no longer, you know, you can't boost it. You can't boost your stability like you used to be able to. Now it's based on your province. Each province is a stability amount. And if I hover over this, it says quiet, which is, um, I think, second to best uh, stability. But then you look over here in Tula and... Oh, it's actually stable. Where's the rest? Um, there's nothing that's unstable that I can show you. Some will say uh, unstable and those are they'll have a higher revolt risk and they'll produce uh, less goods and etc. I recall. I want to see if we can find a province that has unstable. So it's been sieged. Huh. I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, technology, yes. Very good. Now we can build granary, temple, blacksmith, mill, fishery, candle maker, vineyard, oil, olive oil press, and a brewery. Cool beans. So, well, these are basically the same mission here. So, they want me to get a state marriage. Uh, we could get that. Um, Alright, I'll do that mission for right now. New mission, the rival of a threat. Venice Opinion 125. What is my uh, force limit 8? I could build another. I think I'll go ahead and do that. Build a boyer. Oh, I'm not even doing anything with my diplomats. Shame on me. Uh, I guess I completed that. So, in my is my truce will expire 1320, 22nd. Okay.
okay. And let's go ahead and fabricate a claim. Who's my other rival? Small ones, because my other rival. And we'll fabricate a claim on Vizma. And we'll fabricate a claim. I can't fabricate claims on that crap. Smolens is in a war right now. This would be a great time to take uh, Vizma from them because they're at war with um, Lithuania and Votvigs. And how big is their army right now? So we did that. Cool. And those missions suck. Oh, they just pieced out. Nope. We have been warned again by Novgorod. I don't like this Novgorod warning thing. Being a bit intrusive. But they're not fighting anybody, so fuck. Okay, um. What is there? Build a palace. Okay, well now we can uh, go to war with Ryzan and Smolensk. Uh, be damned with Novgorod's warning, we'll figure it out as we go along. And, and looking at the time, this is the end of the first episode of our Let's Play with Russia. Uh, join me next time and we will probably go after Smolensk or Ryzan, probably maybe both at the same time. <laughs> and hopefully Novgorod doesn't intervene. Um, but for uh, for a good, pretty good start, you know, took took a province from uh, Tver and from Ryzan, managed to survive that. We made some allies to the south, and uh, we're starting to improve our relations with our neighbor. Um, other than that, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, uh, please subscribe, rate, thumbs up, all that good stuff. Uh, and I'll see you next time.